We set off for the northern region to refuel. This place is paradise compared to what's further ahead. Beyond our destination lies the closed gate to Nord Belka. Fifteen years ago, the Belkans set off seven nuclear bombs there to stave off the advancing Allied forces, entombing themselves in the frozen valleys to the north. That bit of history should have been enough of a lesson for us all. The seven Belkan cities near the gate were vaporized, and the local area is still highly radioactive. Our landing point was in the state of North Osu, formerly a haven for Belkans, but now entrusted to Osu. If you refer to it by that name, it's going to be longer than that. put a scowl on his face and tell you that this is South Belka. Higher Lark meant a lot to us. Our flight training took place here on this airfield. On the base, we were surrounded by junior cadets, eager to hear war stories. The newspaper article about us, written by that journalist Jeanette, made it here faster than we did. Somewhere along the line, we had become the most experienced pilots in the entire world. We were directed to take these inexperienced pilots back with us to Sand Island when we returned. Man, we better thank Pops for this. Quite that. Cuz, he's the guy who pounded basic fighter maneuvers into us. Now we can lord it over all these guys. You said it. These pilots had only a tenuous grasp of flying, much less mid-air refueling, so we had to land at every base along the way. I can't believe we have to send them off to guard the western coastline. An SSTO craft launch facility lies to the east of our current location, McNeely Air Force Base. The facility was a collaborative project between Osea and Yuktabani. It was built to be a bridge to outer space, with a mass driver 7.5 miles in length. Our radar has detected several planes from a Yuktabanian squadron approaching the facility from several directions. The facility is currently conducting pre-launch operations for an SSTO craft. The base commander will provide you with further orders. This is the commander of McNeely Air Force Base. All units, including those refueling at this base, are now under my command. Engage the incoming enemy. All untrained pilots are barred from taking off. Those guys are still kids. I remember this space center well. The mass driver was built by Osea and Yuktabania as part of their collaborative efforts to construct an international space station. Our anti-war president used the surplus funds that came from cutting the defense budget to build it. Is that the art bird? The art bird. A white bird built as the first step toward the realization of the space station project. Now it's left its orbit and is just low enough to graze the atmosphere. It's coming down to pick up the laser cannon they're about to launch. They were building a bridge of peace that would span into outer space. Not anymore. The machinery meant for this peaceful mission was about to be used for our counterattack. supposed to work like a satellite? Why'd it climb down all this way? It's a maneuverable orbiting spacecraft. I know that. I'm just saying, if the system uses atmospheric friction to change its orbit, then wouldn't that make it pretty hard to defend itself? 
Hmm. I guess it'd be in trouble if someone started firing at it right now. Yeah. So shouldn't it be higher up then? Continue countdown. Three minutes to launch. Halt the countdown. Enemy incoming. This is the Base Air Defense Command. The enemy has a large formation of transport planes escorted by a squadron of fighters. They're conducting an air assault to capture this base. What? They're actually planning to invade Osea? If we shoot the parachutes before the tanks detach, we'll smash them into the ground. You with me? I guess we don't have any other choice. I can't believe that's our strategy. Airborne tanks are dropping from the transport plane. Can you count all those parachutes? I gave up already. Destroy all airborne ACVs. Engage them in the air and on ground. The ACVs are moving this way. Don't let them get near the mass driver. They just keep on coming down. Number 8 just took a direct hit and exploded! We can't shoot them all down. We can only thin out their numbers. Use the trailers to form a barricade. It's all over if the tanks break through. Blaze, do you think our forces are sufficient? Do the ground forces have any anti-tank units? Are they gonna be okay? I don't know, but either way we can't let those things reach the ground. What are we supposed to do, shoot at planes with our cannons? We're defenseless in the air.
were being pushed back, little by little. That thing can sure take a lot of hits. It's as solid as a rock. Check the missile's current position on your radar. My plane can't keep up with them. Missile trajectory is detected. Moving to intercept. There's so many of them. They're going to penetrate our defenses sooner or later. Archer, Roger that. I can't shoot them all down. You'll do fine. Stay calm and you won't miss. Seal off D block. Nobody's left in there, right? Four minutes to launch. Hold them off till then. Four minutes? We won't last that long. Blaze, do you know why the Ark Bird was built? It sure wasn't built for missions like this. What about the final check on the remote measurement units? Uh, sorry, sir. Remote measurement units check complete. Roger! Flight control, your job is done. Evacuate the area immediately. We can't have any mistakes here. We're staying. Fox 2! Missile hit! Whoa, that was close. Come on, we can't waste any more time. Kid, is the launch facility safe? I can't tell from here. Ah, good. I'll continue the operation. Three minutes! Three minutes to go! The catapult camera just shut off. Was the SSTO hit? The camera just malfunctioned. Don't underestimate the enemy. Stay alert. Roger. I'm coming to help. Communications. I want you to ensure all comm lines stay open. We've got it covered, sir. Three modes of communication. Wired, wireless, and runners.
Hostile status report. Everything's clear. All systems are go. Yeah, I'm seeing it now. It's a beautiful sight. This is great. Observation room reporting. The SSTO is climbing smoothly. Congratulations. <laughs> The white bird rose up once again, laser cannon in its wings. It was a moving sight. In my heart, though, I wished it didn't have to be used in war. None of them found out why the enemy targeted the base until much later. Of course, by that time, it was too late. prevented the Yuktobanian army from capturing the launch facility. The SSTO launch was successful. The SSTO docked with the Arkbird, which had descended into the upper atmosphere, and successfully transferred a laser weapon module over to the craft. All aircraft with the 108th Tactical Fighter Squadron and the Sand Island Detachment return to base as soon as rearming and refueling operations are complete. Thank you.